Hi. Hi, Instagram. Hi, YouTube. And welcome. And thank you so much again for whether you're watching the replay, watching live, whatever. What's my hair doing? Sorry about that. Well, thank you so much for being here. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Nadej Sezana. I go by Nan and I'm the Cravings Coach. So what I do is that I love helping people, I love helping you stick to your ideal eating habits, patterns, plans, whatever you call it, by conquering your food cravings for good so that you can get the amazing rewards, the, the amazing body bliss and the vibrant health that you aspire to. And by that, I mean the cute clothes, the high energy levels, the smile on your face that you so rightly deserve. Right, so thank you so much for attending this live and remember liking it, commenting it, sharing it. Remember that each time you do so, your name is entered in a drawing next week. So the prize is going to be um, two days of coaching with me via Instagram DMs. And it means that for 48 hours, you can share with me all your concerns, all your struggles around food, your body, your health. And I'm going to guide you so that you decide and become more of the person you want to be. Maybe somebody who doesn't eat whenever there's food around, as if on not a pilot, but instead somebody who savors their food and is also delighted by the reflection in the shop window. And so somebody who knows how to optimize pleasure, all right, because saying no to temptation doesn't mean saying no to pleasure, as I keep saying. And if that's something that you want, then share, like, comment this live and tag me whenever you do so, so that you are entered in the drawing. Thank you so much. So I have my little glass here as usual. Thank you so much for entering the draw. And then the winner is, let's see, doo -doo -doo, hop, the Espresso Social. Right, so I'll reach out to you in the, in the DMs. And thank you so much for being here again. I love that, congratulations. So I'll send you a DM, DM, sorry, and we'll decide on the most two convenient days where we can exchange via the, um, the social uh, emails and have fun conquering your food cravings for good. So now, how do I help clients actually do that? You know, conquer their food cravings for good so that they can stick to he their healthy food plan so that they can actually maybe gain muscle mass or reduce allergic reactions to certain food or even become vegetarians, why not? Or eventually lose weight if that's what you want. So really I help them, I help you conquer your food cravings for good in three simple steps. The first one is to understand. Understand why you want the food. We need to understand what's happening so that then we can change it. We can't change what we don't see, right? So I always love this analogy, try rearranging furniture in the dark right? Good luck with that. But the thing is that we don't want to be lucky. We want to be smart and to find a system that does work, right? So we need to understand, first of all, and then decrease the longing for the food. Once we know where this longing for the food is coming from, there are different ways, plenty different ways, and I'm sharing them each week, to do so, to reduce the food cravings, and then to decline the food easily. That's step number three. So I'm going to share with you today an amazing tool just like last week and you can see the tool I talked about last week on my YouTube channel it's called Nadej Sezana Coaching please let me know if you want the link I'll send it directly to you but next week the following weeks I'm going to share more tools actually so that you've got one tool per week to apply which means have fun with experiment play with right of course feel free to DM me all your comments or your questions in the meantime, it's not always easy to turn knowledge into know-how, right? To apply what we've just learned, what you've just understood maybe for the first time ever. So in fact, applying is actually the only way we can change. That's why it's so important that we have this lapse, this gap of one week for you to try and to implement, to practice, right? It can be challenging, even if you're a coach who's got all the training, all the resources, which is actually why my clients hire me, right? What I tell my clients is that what challenges you is actually what changes you. So it's a sign of change, actually, if it's challenging for you. What challenges you changes you. Fantastic. So it's perfect as it's exactly what we want, isn't it? And so let me remind you of the three steps. First one is understand why we want the food. The second one is to um, decrease the longing for the food. And the third one is to decline, super easy, 
it gets super easy to decline the food. Um, and it's the faster of the three steps, actually, because all you need to say is, no, thank you, with a smile, in a spontaneous way, as if it was a reflex. And that's it, right? That's my daily life now. And it's so good. So then we get to enjoy the smaller, the cuter clothes, climbing up the stairs without being short of breath, posting for pictures instead, posting, posing for pictures instead of hiding behind the tallest person in the group, right? So today I'm going to share another strategy for step number two, which is to decrease the food craving, to decrease the desire for the food. And basically, yes, we are going to talk about the desire, whether it's fleeting or intense, and whether we call it a desire or uh, an impulse, a craving, a longing, an urge, a compulsion, we're always talking about some form of desire for the food, right? So we want to decrease that longing so that then it's easy to say no to the food. So today I'm sharing another powerful tool that you can practice for one week. And what we're going to do today is just like last week, we're going to focus on this feeling we get when we think about the food as we did last week in two simple steps. I'm going to recap what we did last week and we're going to add a twist so that then it's going to blow your mind. So last week I shared with you a super simple tool to dissolve your food craving for, let's say, a croissant in 90 seconds. So do you remember? If not, here it is in a nutshell. When you feel the food craving for, say, the croissant, or whatever it is, right? First, observe what's happening in your body. That means first, scan your body from head to toe to find where the emotion is. And then second step is to describe what this emotion is like to yourself, right? And all the while, that's also the second important step, don't forget to breathe deep and slow to make the process even easier, right? And today we're going to use the same process and take it one step further to show you how much control you have on your emotions. And it's super fun. So let's say that you want a chocolate chip, chip cookie. And of course, you can think about any food that you want to have. Um, and you notice the desire in your body. It may be in your mouth. And it may be like there's a tsunami of saliva there. Your tongue feels heavy and big, perhaps, as it does for me. Perhaps it's completely different. It doesn't matter, right? You have the right to feel your emotion the way you feel your emotion, right? Now, this desire is not coming from the chocolate chip cookie per se. It's coming from what you're thinking about the cookie, something that somebody else could maybe not think and that would not create the same desire as you. So let's play a little bit with the thought to see, just as an experiment, what happens to the desire you have for the cookie. So if you're thinking, oh, it looks good, you're probably feeling desire, craving the urge we talked about. But let's get more specific. On a scale from zero, not at all, to a 10, total desire, where would you say you're at when you think it looks good, when you think about the chocolate chip cookie or some other food, right? Perhaps you are at a six out of 10. Now, what happens if we changed the thought, if we tweaked the sentence, and instead of it looks good, we were thinking it looks so good, I could never ever resist it, however hard I tried. How is the intensity of your food cravings changing? On the same thing, on a scale from zero, not at all, no desire at all, to a 10, through the roof, right? Where would you say you're at when you're deciding to think it looks so good, I could never ever resist this food, however hard I tried, right? So if you're like me, you've got up the scale, right? From six maybe to eight. And then what's super interesting is to notice what's happening in your, bo in your body. Is the desire always at the same place? Is it still in the same place? And what does it look like now, right? What does it look like if you were to describe it to me or to yourself? What has changed? Has it changed, right? Chances are it has, but maybe not. So describe it to yourself. And I know it can be a bit scary to increase your desire for food because we can be afraid of it expanding again and again, forever and ever, and us completely losing control. Of course, that's not what we want. Notice that actually it's the opposite that's happening because we increase the desire, just tweaking words. 
read it, it with our thoughts by adding a few words here and there. Isn't that amazing? It means that we are actually in control, in full control of our own emotions. And the one we're talking about in particular right now is craving. But it means that it's the same thing with frustration, confusion, calm, joy too, right? We are in control of those emotions. We can create them at will, on demand. Oh, fantastic. So now let's go back to our starting point. Remember when we were just thinking, it looks good, and we were feeling desire, craving an urge. I know that I was at a six on a scale from zero, not, no desire at all, to a 10. Huge desire, total desire right? So do you notice that when we go back to the thought, it looks good, do you notice that you can go back to the starting point on the scale? Or if not, what's happening for you? And now let's take it a step further. You may remember a few weeks ago when we learned how to neutralize a food craving, and I gave you several tips on how to do just so. So again, please visit my YouTube channel, Madej Susanna Coaching, where you're going to find the recording, the replay, and then of course send me a DM if you can't find it. I'll send you the direct link. But anyway, we're going to use the tools of generalizing and removing the subjectivity to decrease the intensity of the desire so that then it's super easy to say, no, thank you, and actually mean it, right, when we're faced with a chocolate chip cookie. So here are a few general factual sentences, we could think about the chocolate chip cookie, like it's a cookie, or even more neutral, there's food, or we could describe it. It's round, flat, brown. What other sentences could turn your desire down? So think about your food, think of making it super neutral, and then check with the intensity of the desire on that scale from zero, no desire at all, to a 10, total desire, right? And again, check within your body, where is this desire in your body? And what's it like? Chances are it's going to be different than the desire we feel when we think, oh, I can't resist this food at all, however hard I try. That's it, right? That's the amazing tool that I wanted to share with you. Not only have we learned how to turn our desire down at will, on demand, as if we were turning the thermostat down or the, you know, the volume of the, on the remote control, but we've also learned that we are the sole masters of our desire for food, even a chocolate chip cookie. It has nothing to do with the chocolate. It has nothing to do with the, the additives that um, factories add to our food. It's all within our control. Amazing. And I'm curious to know if you're going to try this technique. So let me know by sending me a DM or an email. Shoot me an email at nscoaching at outlook.fr. And of course, if you've got any question, I'd be very happy to help. And of course, this tip is just one of my many tools. It's just one tip, the tip of the iceberg. The tip is the tip of the iceberg. I think I'm very clever for saying that. <laughs> so by the way, if you want to take this work deeper, of course, it's possible for you. If you want to benefit from all my experience, all my expertise, so that you get the health that, and you, the body that you aspire to, I can help you, no problem with that. This is what I love doing all day, every day. This is what I've been doing for the past years, for the past four years. And I've helped up to 50 clients per week since June, 2019, reach their goals. So I've got absolutely no doubt that I can help you too, right? Whether you want to lose weight, uh, reduce allergic reactions to some foods, become a vegetarian or adopt other healthy eating habits, you can succeed at sticking to your food plan, and I can help you do just that. You are no exception to the rule, right? All you need to do is give yourself permission to have what you want. And it starts with simply booking your free Crave Control Consultation call with me. It's a one hour long, it's free, and it's going to be all about you. What you want for you, who you want to be, how you can give it to yourself, I can help you achieve this. And the very first step you need to take for this, for this to reach to get closer to this future version of you is simply to book your free Crave Control Constellation call with me via the link that you're going to find in my bio if you're on Instagram at nan.cezana.coaching or if we are on YouTube, it's going to be below in the, in the notes. 
and I believe in you. You can do this. You can have what you want and I know exactly what to do. If you don't know my story, I used to be a binge eater. And on top of that, I used to snack all day long because I thought that I could never ever uh, bear to feel hungry, right? So that was my way of living, eating, overeating all day long. As soon as I was awake, the first thoughts that I had were food. And what am I going to eat? And of course, I shouldn't have eaten what I ate yesterday. Right. So that was the story in my mind all day long. Now it's over. I'm no longer obsessed with food, my body image and so on. I'm now free to think of other things like my clients, like marketing my fantastic coaching business on Instagram and YouTube. I love that, right? So it's possible for you too, if you're a coach and you want to stop this mind chatter about food all the time going on, it is possible for you too. I know because I was the toughest client there ever was for me. So of course, I can help you. So thank you so much for attending this live now. And of course, remember to like it if you feel like liking it, obviously, commenting on it, sharing it and tagging me so that I can see it. And remember that each time you do so, your name is entered in a drawing that will take place the next week or the next live. And the prize is going to be, uh, let me remind you of this, two days of coaching for free in the DMs of Instagram. And it's super fun because we can talk about your current struggles about implementing new, healthy, eating, lifestyle changing routines for you, getting into those new habits. And I only guide you, I only ask you questions, but people tell me that they're fascinating questions, very curious, magical questions that help you actually achieve what you do want and be very clear as to what you want and find your way of getting it. I love that work. So please remember, like, share, comment if you see it fit. And I'm going to wish you a beautiful rest of your day. Take care. Bye.